Hey guys, John here. I wanted to make a quick video and talk to you guys about the drums inside Avenger 2. So I wanted to make a track using only Avenger for the drums and kind of see how it turns out. Now, this one I've kind of been working on here and there the last couple of days. So it's by no means finished, but here's a little uh, sneak peek. So I think you get the idea here. So I also wanted to find a certain workflow where I can have everything multi out and then control everything individually. And I found that and I kind of wanted to share that process with you guys. So first of all, let's kind of take a look and see what's happening here. So we have all these MIDI clips and this is actually what's gonna be triggering the drum. So if we open up Avenger and kind of see what's happening inside here, this pattern right here is actually not getting triggered because this drum sequencer is off right now. So if I hit some notes individually, right? It's going to be just note per note. Okay. So let's open up a fresh patch here down at the bottom and let's kind of do this here together. So once we load this guy up, we have a basic patch. Now, first of all, we want to start off, let's turn the volume down for the first oscillator because we're not going to need that since we're using the drums. Now, if you look in your drums category, depending on how many expansions that you have, there's actually a lot that comes with the factory and they all sound pretty cool as well. So let's go to factory two since we're in Avenger two and let's maybe just go through a couple of these. It's actually kind of cool right there. <laughs> That's cool. So this is the one that I used for this track here called Cyber Kit 1, which sounds pretty cool. Okay, so let's say that we like this and we're playing a sequence here and it's only coming out on this track, but we want everything multi out. So what we need to do is if, if you're in Bitwig, that is, then down here on the device page, just click these two little lines here and we're going to start seeing this populate. Now, if you don't see this, let's go ahead and delete this because you may not. Let's go ahead and add it again. So we have a fresh new copy of Avenger right here. Let's open up this plugin and again, turn down the volume, go to drums and let's go back to CyberKit. Let's pick that. Okay, so we're basically in the last spot here. Now, when you click these two by default, your window might look like this and select this add missing chains. Now you can have all of these different routings. Now, if you play a note, we're still not gonna see anything. So now we need to tell Avenger where to send this out from. So we need to go down over here to our mixer tab and then we're gonna have general, then next to general, we're gonna have drums. So make sure to select drums. Now, the first one is gonna be the bass. So click this up here at the top where it says master effects and go down to bass and then go for the next one down to rim and then snare and then clap and so on and so forth. And then now down here on the left hand side, we can start seeing this here. So the bass drum, solo that, the rim right here, and snare. Okay, so basically just do that all the way through. And here you can also always adjust the balance of the faders individually, or you can do it down up here. It really depends on how you wanna work. And then on the general, you have a master right here for the drums, which is also kind of cool. And again, it all depends on how you want to mix things, but yeah, that's kind of the routing. So the next thing that you might be thinking of, okay, I like this, I like how the routing works, this is cool, but I want to add a reverb on the snare, for example, and not on anything else, for example, right? So you can do that inside of Venture, or if you want to use your own reverb. So in this situation, we would just click the snare and then we just add a send like normal. Let's actually turn off this uh, drum sequencer here. So if that's still triggering and you don't know why, open up the plugin here and then on the drums, just disable this right over here. So not everything can be triggered by its own key. Okay, so let's say we want to add that reverb. We click on the snare. and you just give it a send. It's really that simple. And it's not on anything else. Once you click on anything else like that, then you have your own individual sends, which is actually pretty cool. And yeah, that's basically how you set that up. And you can make your own patterns inside here, or you can kind of look what's in the pattern inside Avenger and kind of use something like that. And it all, it all depends on how you want to work. But yeah, I found this workflow, workflow actually pretty cool. And uh, yeah, the drums inside Avenger sound really good. So before we actually leave here, I kind of wanted to show you a couple other ones that are just pretty amazing. So here in the drums, let's say we go back to the drum kit and maybe 
Let's try vintage dance. Let's turn on our drum sequence here. Let's actually disable that snare of reverb. That's going to be intense there. Okay, here we go. Tropical House One. Trap three, I think this is. Trap one. Here's some trance stuff. So like, look at this list here as I drag all this up here. This is insane how much is, how many different drum kits are in here. And they all sound really, really cool. Minimal House, Modern Pop. Yeah, so we can actually spend hours just going through all these drum kits and going through the sequences and programming stuff. It's actually a lot of fun. And then also you can change the sequence over here if you want to, but remember if you change the sequence, it's gonna change the drum kit unless you disable this green lock button. So now they're gonna be independent, but hopefully you should already know that by now. But yeah, check out the drums inside Avenger 2. They sound really good. And once you get everything routed and kind of set up how you want, it's a nice workflow and the results are actually kind of cool. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and try those out. See you in the next video.